This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruski. Featuring defense attorney, Hidden Killers daily contributor, and host of the Defense Diaries podcast, Bob Motta. John Ray, an attorney for some of the victims and victims' families of allegedly Rex Herman, the Long Island serial killer, making some very shocking allegations uh, this last week uh, and accusations that I think nobody saw coming, but they certainly look a little weird. I guess it's okay to ask some questions about this, uh, but I don't know. He went pretty far with it. Bob Mata, defense attorney, host of the podcast Defense Diaries with us. John Ray, uh, flat out saying he thinks Victoria Hewerman, uh, uh, Rex Hewerman's daughter, had something to do with the crimes because of the artwork that was discovered on some of her social media accounts and in the home of the Hewermans. What's your thoughts on these rather, you know, shocking allegations? Uh, my my first instinct was that it was reckless and, yeah. and disgusting. You know, it's like. I, I am going to trust law enforcement on this one because mm-hmm. I think they're doing a hell of a job. I mean, we know that they added two more murders to the slate that they were able to put together. I think they're investigating every aspect of this, um, including the fact that on every single one of the six that have now he's been alleged to have committed that the family was out of town on all of them. Yeah, Like, like I, I'm trying to figure out what John Ray's angle is. Like, you know what I mean? It's like he's going to attack this this girl who I, I, I don't know her. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what goes through her mind. Yeah. I mean, she could be a dark kid. She could like there's there's gothy kids. That, yeah. Like, I have no clue. I mean, we know it appears that her father's got a very warped mind. Mm-hmm. You know, that does not mean that she is in any way, shape or form involved with the crimes. However, genetically she could have some darkness in her mind too. And maybe she did that's she manifested through art. I like, I don't know. Yeah. Like all I know is there was zero proof of anything. And I didn't find any of what he was claiming to be substantive in any single, like in any way, shape or form. And I thought it was reckless. And, yeah. and I thought that it, it was, uh, it served zero purpose. That's what I felt about it. I thought it was a shitty thing for him to do. It was be bizarre because there's there's been times where he's made some really good points, and this one was just like, "Where are you coming from on this?" And, right. and he didn't seem to understand either, to a certain extent, how social media even works. Where it's like some of these were reposts of other other people's work. A lot of it was other people's work. Um, right. And if you're kind of a macabre person and you're into that sort of stuff you're probably reposted. Um, and it's right. not, I think, a far stretch to go, you grew up with Rex Hewerman as your father, you may be a bit of a macabre person. Uh, not necessarily <laughs> a murderer, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, genetically or just environmentally, look at the home that she grew up in. Uh, look at these individuals that have surrounded her throughout her life. It's not a far stretch to think that maybe, you know, you kind of go down those dark paths. Uh, but he really... I, I know, I'm not quite sure what he was pushing at. I know he wants Asa to be investigated more. I think everybody would like a few more questions answered from Asa. But I don't know, go after the daughter. It just seemed really out there. It seemed really out there. I, 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 again, I just I don't know what his angle is. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like, let law enforcement do what they're going to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They're like, law enforcement isn't giving anybody a pass if they believe that they had a hand in anything, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, and like, again, like I, I like Suffolk County has earned my trust on this in terms of their investigation into this, Yeah, you know, they're leaving no stone unturned. They're continuing to look at everything. I, I think you've got some really qualified people doing their work on that case. And, you know, you got John Ray over here, Looks like a clout grab to me. That's what it looks like. That's what it feels like. Going as far as to even make accusations of cannibalism. Let's take a look at that. Rex Hurman's porn is matched by his daughter's tastes, his daughter's work. You will see that we are not talking here about, uh, what should I call it? Merely murder. I say it ironically. We're talking about people who are involved and interested in torture, horrifying torture of the people we know are now dead. 
and many more yet to come. We are talking about the potentiality of cannibalism, hard war. We are talking about the use of porno to effect what has happened. He also makes mention that there were bodies in the basement, which I don't know where he's get quite getting that part. Um, did the FBI go back in and, and look at the basement and dig more things out? Yes, they did, but we still haven't heard evidence of bodies being in the basement. Yeah, I mean, I, I know the ME pulled up over there, you know, at some point during that second search. Um, you know, it seems like we would have, like, typically, even if it's only bones a few bones if it's not even a full skeletal those they're still going to put them in a body bag mm -hmm. you know what I mean? like, I, like I, I didn't i didn't hear of anybody like spotting that yeah like, you know because people had eyes all over that search and you know i mean they had a pretty big perimeter around it but still um you know i like I don't know, man. You know, it's like, like I, I respect John Ray in certain ways in terms of like, he, he, he is a victim's advocate. You know, I mean, he, he did shed some light on certain things. Like you said, man, I mean, we've, we've been a fan of some of the stuff that you and I have both been like, yeah, you know, I mean, he's coming with valid points, comes with the affidavits, which mm -hmm. seem to hold some water to me, you know, but then he comes with, with shit like this, yeah, you know, and, and like you got, you got to take them with a grain of salt. You know what I mean? It's like, it, it, like I, I'm just, I, I didn't see anything that would make me believe that Victoria Hewerman had anything to do with anything. Yeah. I mean, and this we're talking like, she would have been four years old. Yeah. At certain points. I mean, what do they do? It's like father daughter bonding time in his mind. I mean, I just can't, I, I can't see it. I'd be shocked if he's right. Uh, and I'll eat the crow if he, if he is, but well, I just don't too. see it. I just don't. Me too. Either do I. Want to listen ad free? Want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.